Goa, on the western coast of the Indian Peninsula. A traditional festival is underway in the popular tourist destination in India, Goa. This festival is called Narkashore Chaturthi. It coincides with Indian festival of lights called Diwali or Deepawali. They are burning, an effigy, of a mythical demon ruler of Goa, they call, Narkashore. <laughs> Similar tradition, of mythical demon King Narkashore, is prevalent, in many states, of southern India also. This is a classical dance form of the Kerala state of India, known as Kathakali. They are performing a piece called Narkashora Vodam. It means the slaying of Narkashora. The place, intricately associated with the legend of Narkashora, or Narkashore, is the Indian state of Assam, which was known in the ancient times as Kamrup. So much is the association that the character Narkashora, or Narkashore, can be considered, metaphorically, a native of Kamrup, or Assam. This is a black and white feature film on Narkashora or Narkashore. Masi tumar moy obhagini bokhun dhara. Sumi. Tumi mon hatai. The language of the film is the same as. It was produced in the year 1962 under the banner of Vasca Citrakala, directed by the legendary Assamese filmmaker Late Nip Borua. The character of Narkashora or Narkashor is portrayed here in a human form, not as a demon. In the Assamese language, Assam is called Aham. Likewise, Narkashor is called in Assamese language Narakahur. The vela fricative huh. is unique to the Assamese language. This vela fricative pronunciation huh. is absent in all the Indian languages, including Sanskrit, but is to be found in many European languages and in Persian. Narakahur is considered the founder monarch of the kingdom of Kamrup.
The area of Guwahati city is believed by people to be the site of the capital of Narakahur. The line of kings claiming descendancy from the mythical Narakahur ruled here right up to the historically recorded times. The legend of Narakahur has an association with the goddess Kamakya. This is the hilltop temple of Kamakya in Nilasol Hills within the Guwahati city. Several more Kamakya temples are there scattered within Assam, but this one, on the Nilasol Hills, is the largest, and the most famous. This stone stairway, going up to the hilltop temple of Kamakya, in Nilasol Hills, is believed by people, to be built by Narakahur in a period of one night's time, only in his unfulfilled quest of marrying goddess Kamakya. This stone stairway is called the Makela Ujua, meaning to pull skirts to negotiate the gradient of the stairway. This is a long range of hills, jutting in the middle of the Guwahati city. This range of hills is called Narakahur Pahar or Narakahur Hills. A major portion of the people of a Samese ethnicity are followers of Hinduism or the Sanatan Dharma. The ethno religious cultural practices of the Assamese people are unique to them. They differ significantly from those of their co-religionists in the mainland India. But the main difference lies in the mindsets and, in the attitudes, the Samese are as a rule, much more open-minded, and hence are, one of the most secular-minded people, in the world. This applies equally, to the Assamese Hindus. The Assamese Muslims. The Assamese Christians. The Assamese Buddhists. And the Assamese Sikhs. From the mythological heritage of the Assamese people. Two great Ashur, or Ohur, rulers, are associated with Assam or Kamrup. One is Narak Ohur, or Narakahur, and the other is Ban Ohur, or Banahur. The practice of mythological characters, classed as Ashur, in the Hindu mythology, being demonized, is absent in the mindset of the Assamese people, as far as their own Ashurs or Ohurs are concerned, in particular, and to the concept of Ashur, in general, to a considerable extent. Both the characters Narakahur and Banahur are treated by the Assamese people as kings, to whom they owe their heritage, rather than as demons from the mythological world of the religion. 
stopping short of worshipping them Narakahur. and Banahur are treated with respect, which the people feel is due to them. In many literatures, and in spoken words, or songs, they are mentioned as Narak Raza and Ban Raza. Raza in a Samese language means king. This is the historical Tezpur town in central Assam on the northern bank of the Brahmaputra or Luit River. Tezpur is believed in popular thought to be the capital of the kingdom of the Ban Raza. Tezpur is one of the main hub of Assamese cultural activities. This is the foremost theatre or auditorium of the Tezpur town in Assam. This theatre is called Barn Theatre. It is one of the oldest and reputed auditorium in Assam. It is named in honour of Barn Raza. This is one of the important thoroughfare of the city of Guwahati. This is now known as the Rajgore Road. Rajgore means Royal Rampart or Fortification. This road is built over an ancient Assamese earthwork rampart called Gore, which was part of the fortification of the ancient city of Guwahati. In the olden days, it was called Ohurar Ali. Ali in Assamese has the same meaning as the French Ali. Literally it means Ohurs Ali or Road. The road runs in north-south direction, connecting the locality of Chandmari with Narakahur Hills, where the Rajka Road or Ohurar Ali joins the Narakahur Hills. The impressions of the existence of an ancient rampart are discernible even to this day. In February 2017, ruins of an ancient brick wall running along the crest of the Narakahur Hills was discovered. The ruins continues along the crest of the Narakahur Hills for a distance of around 2.5 kilometers. Formal excavation by the concerned authorities is yet to begin, but official process is underway. This is the television tower of Guwahati city atop the Narakahur Hills. It is supposed to be the tallest point of the city. Below the television tower is the main building of the medical college at Guwahati. They are singing the college song of the medical college in a chorus. There in the initial stanza, tributes are paid to Narokroza, Banroza, and to Vogadatta, who is supposed to be the son of Narok. Translated, those particular lines of the college song of the medical college reads as follows glorified by Barn and Vogadatta we are on the mausoleum of King Narok the college song with the lines 
mentioning about the glory of the kings, Narok, Barn, and Vogadatta, was lyricized by Dr. Hurin Harma, the founder principal of the medical college at Guwahati. On the other side, to the south of the Narakahur Hills, is this locality called Narakahur. Many of the institutions in this locality bears the name Narakahur. The word Ohur is associated with the system of Assamese traditional medicine. This is a practitioner of Assamese traditional medicine. This indigenous Assamese system of medicine goes by the name Ahuri Sikitsa, meaning Ahuri treatment. As per the legend, King Narok was succeeded by his son King Vogadatta. Beginning in the mythological era, the kingdom of Kamrup moved into real historical era. It was a powerful kingdom till its fragmentation at the early part of the previous millennium. All the dynasties of the Kamrup era of the Assam history drew their lineage from King Narok and King Vogadatta. During its zenith of power, Kamrup had sent soldier adventurers in all directions. But the Kamrups or Assam's share within the Indian contribution to the history and culture of the region of Southeast Asia was never credited to its account by any scholar, neither Western nor Indian. But facts remain facts, the influence of a Siamese language on the Thai or Siamese place names, and the influence of the Assamese script on the Thai or Siamese script, are indelible evidences. All the place names, of Thailand, or Siam, with the suffix Buri, are derived from a Siamese word element, Bari. This suffix, Buri, is in no way, connected to the Sanskrit word Puri, as claimed by many Indian scholars, but, share the same root, with a Siamese place names, like Nalbari, Maloi Bari, and, English place names, like Salisbury, Canterbury, etc. The forms of these characters of the Thai or Siamese script show clearly the influence of the Siamese script. But the most important one of the earliest kingdoms in the area of Thailand, or Siam, known to the scholars as the Kingdom of Dvarabhati, began with a king named Vogadatta, prior to the migration of the Thai people to the area of present-day Thailand, or Siam. These artifacts are from the civilization of Dvarabhati. Similarly, Kingdom of Lankasuka, in the area of present-day Malaysia, also started with a king named Vogadatta. The dynasty of King Narok and King Vogadatta in Kamrup is called Vorma, meaning to arise from the earth. This Vorma is corrupted or altered to Boma in Indonesia. King Narok is known in the local laws or myths as Boma.
This is a video game, produced in Indonesia. It is named Boma, Narakashora. The word, Narakashora, or Narakashor, is a combination of the words, Naka and Ashora, or Ashor. In the Hindu mythology, Ashora, or Ashor, means the demons, or the antithesis, of the gods. But in ancient Assyria, in the region of Mesopotamia, the most ancient cradle of the human civilization, Ashur, is the name of a god. In fact, Ashur, was the main god of the ancient Assyrians, and many of the kings of ancient Assyria, took this name. These are the ruins of the ancient capital, of the Assyrian Empire, called Ashur. This is a statue, of King, Ashur, Nasirapal, of ancient, Assyria. This engraving, is of King, Ashur, Barnipal, of ancient, Assyria. This is a wall relief, depicting the god, Ashur, it is from Nimrud, in present-day war-torn Iraq. This is Faravaha, it is the symbol, of Ahura, Mazda, the supreme god, in the religion of Zoroastrianism, originating in, ancient Persia, or Iran. Presentation, of the Faravaha symbol, of the god Ahura, Mazda, in Zoroastrianism, has striking similarity, with symbolization, of the god, Ashur, of the ancient Assyrians. Zoroastrianism is an ancient religion, continuing into the modern era. Many of them, reside in India, and are known, as Parsi. The Samese people have, a strong historical connection, with the ancient Persians, or Iranians. The Assamese velar fricative pronunciation, ha. is found in inflected form, in many old Persian, or Iranian words. As an example, the cognate of the Assamese word for all or every hard one is found inflected as Hard-one in Old Persian or Iranian. So, the Persian or Iranian word for God could also be an inflection of either Ohur or Ashur. So, the word Ashur, means demon, to the Hindus. The same word, Ashur, meant God, to the ancient Assyrians. And, Ahura, means God, to the Zoroastrians. So, the concept of God, and demon, are interchangeable, subject to one's perception. 